Hey guys, welcome back to Electrico Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have any of the following three vehicles, guys, Fiat 500, Chrysler 200, guys, or Dodge Ram Pro Master, guys, with the 2.4 multi air engine, and you're trying, guys, to find the uh, head torque specs for that, the head gasket torque specs and sequence, stay with us, guys. That's what we will share with you today. As you can see, guys, that engine is out of the car. You do not need to remove the car to replace your head gasket or cylinder head, uh, but we got it out guys because we'll have more than 100 videos on that engine and we want to show you with the great detail how to fix anything on it so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so hopefully the video will be helpful guys let's start on it and show you what needs to be done all the tools and parts guys if you need to buy a new gasket if you need to buy a torque wrench head bolts all that will be listed in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get it yourself so this is guys the engine facing when you open the hood of your car you will face the engine that way this is where the exhaust manifold is located oil cooler on this side and we're going to go ahead guys and start on that now so what do we need to do okay first we need to just install the head bolts we need to just get them there and do not get them tight or anything like that just you need to get them tight to the point that they stop turning by hand and then we're going to apply uh, a specific amount of force with the torque wrench in a specific order to do that. So first put all the bolts in. Now we're going to need a Torx 55 socket guys, all the tools and parts that we use guys will be listed again in the description of the video below for your convenience. We will not apply any torque, just we'll stop with that little bit impact once, okay we get to the point that they stop turning. Okay right there. So, you're going to do that in a cross pattern as you can see how we do it, left, right, left, right in a cross pattern, that way you can have an equal amount of force and there will be a specific order when we do that, okay, when we start with the head. So, first guys, we're going to need a torque wrench now, right there, and we're going to apply guys 30 newton meter, okay, setting on it, 30 newton meters guys. And this one goes in foot pounds and newton meters as well. So set it at 30 newton meters. This is a click type wrench. When we reach the torque, you'll hear a click and the wrench handle will move better. That's when you guys need to stop. Otherwise, you put too much torque. So we're going to start, okay, with bolt number one right there now. Listen now for that click. That's it. Bolt number two. Perfect. Now bolt number three right there in top. Bolt number four right here. Bolt number five here. 30 newton meters. Bolt number six over there. Bolt number seven here. Eight, you go in that corner. Nine in the upper corner, upper right corner. And ten will be the last bolt here. So that's step number one, guys. But we need to have four steps now. Step number two, we set it at 73 Newton meters. 73 Newton meters, guys. So that's quite a bit. So we're going to set ours at 73. And we're going to go ahead and see, okay, for that click again bolt number one listen now number two number three four right here five Six, seven now guys, eight, 
nine in the corner. Perfect, and ten. Now at the same setting, 73, we are going to recheck all of them in the same sequence. That's step number three. Recheck all of them until you hear that click. Okay, we're towards the end now, bot number seven, eight, nine, and ten, the last bot, guys. So, we're ready with that step, we just have one more step to go and we'll explain what it is. It will be step number four. So now, we need to get the, don't need the torque wrench anymore, just uh, uh, longer, okay, bar like that, wrench, uh, the torque range otherwise you will mess it up what do you need now guys you need to okay do 90 degrees on each bolt in the same sequence 90 degrees is quarter revolution one quarter of a revolution so you start right here and you're going to end right there that's 90 degrees so that needs to be done on every bolt guys there is no need to watch is how we're going to do that because i guarantee you it's going to take a while guys and you might need to get a cheater bar as well Okay, right there, that's 90 degrees. And you do that to uh, all 10 bolts, guys. All 10 bolts, that needs to be done. Okay, perfect. And from that point on, guys, when you do all 10 bolts, you will be, guys, ready to go. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.